Hello again. Today we're going to explore some Higvision cameras and recorders. Uh, I happen to have a thermal camera here. It's a turret camera. It has two lenses on it. There's the overview lens and there's the, uh, the thermal lens. Uh, and I'm going to add it to a pretty bog standard uh, recorder. It's the M2 series. It's got 16 channels on it. Perfectly capable of a recorder. Uh, and the issue we get is adding the second channel. The same sort of thing applies if you're adding something like a tandem view. It'll have a PTZ view and it'll also have an overview. So there's two channels on the recorder. So let's start by trying to log in to the recorder. Uh, and to do that, I need our old faithful SADP. SADP is running on my PC. Uh, let's get it up here now. And it's identified the IP address because I sat on DHCP on my network. Uh, so that's 50.126 and 50.127. So to so just double click the IP address, I'd launch a browser. And when I've launched the browser, of course, I need to log in. Let's log in. I've got one camera connected into the rear of the uh, recorder. And I want to go and add this other camera. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is go down to device access. Um, and you've got a whole bundle of options here. Uh, everything is pretty much on plug and play. So we need to add one from the network. Um, if it's in my list here, uh, I should be able to find it. Uh, let's just go and have a look. Just expand some stuff around so we can see what's going on. Uh, and there we have it there. Uh, there's the 127. Uh, and that's the heat pro. So I just click there and I click add to device list. And immediately it says no more channels can be added. Because it's a 16 channel recorder, I have to disable some PoA. The way to do that is to go to device configuration, click on PoA settings, because it's expecting everything to be plugged in the back. We don't have to do that, we can put it on the network. So I disconnect the channel ready for uh, the camera. And I'm going to save that. And I'm going to go back to devices and video device. And let's do a little scan again and see what's going on. If you don't see it in the list, you can add it manually, which can be done here, which I could do right now. I could go and add the IP address in and I can go put the password in. And I can go add it manually. It'll tell me that there's two channels on there. And if I select all of them, I should be able to add them. Uh, and away it goes and it tries to add channel two and three. Let's have a look, see what's happening. Give it a wee refresh and it says it's online, but it's only giving me one channel. You can see that there, it says one of two. And if I click on here and try to add the second one, it's going to complain a little bit, no doubt. It doesn't actually say that on the screen, which is a rather confusing part. Because uh, I need to add another PoE, I need to take up another PoE channel. So the correct way to do it is to go and add another PoE channel. Let's get rid of that uh, and save that. So I've got two channels ready for the Heat Pro. And I'll go back to video device. And I'll just take it out and we'll do it all again so we know what we're doing. Removed it from the system. So I've got two spare channels for it to go on. Let's scroll down and see if we can find it. That should be it. I'll just double check the IP address. 127, that's the one. Click on add to device list. And I'm not asked for a password as long as I've put the correct password into the, uh, the, the device list up here, which is default passwords in there. Uh, and it should do it. Let's give it a wee refresh uh, and have a little look. And again, it's not, it's not done it. But this time, I should be able to add two of two and you can see now that it says d2 and d3 so it's added two channels so all we have to do to prove it is to launch in a four-way quad uh, as all these three cameras in here and you'll see now i've got two thermal images up there one's called overview one's called thermal and that's us done it that's how we add it if you're wondering how we've got these names on here i've actually previously logged into the camera this is the camera i go to the configuration page gone right down to the image settings and OSD settings 
and go to the overview camera and give it a name and I'll go down to the, the thermal image and give it the thermal image a name and that's how I've done that. So I hope that's helped. Um, thank you very much.